Hello everyone! So in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel to figure out the future value of an annuity due. Uh, let's dig into it using an example. Let's suppose you've decided to put away $2,000 in your investment account every year for the next five years. So this is an example of an annuity. Why? Because you're going to be putting away a constant amount, $2,000, at regular intervals, which is every year, for a fixed number of years, which is five years. Constant cash flow invested regularly for a fixed number of years. Yep, that's an annuity. Now, here's the interesting part. You will make the first deposit starting today, so when the year is starting. So this is what is making this an annuity due. This is an annuity due. Why? Because the first cash flow is going to be deposited today. The question is, how much will you have in your account by the end of five years if the annual interest rate is 3%? And so if you try to look at things on a timeline, if this were an ordinary annuity, then the first deposit would have been at the end of year one, then end of year two, end of year three, year four, year five. But that's not what's happening. Since this is an annuity due, basically your first deposit is happening today, which is the beginning of year one. This is the beginning of year two, beginning of year three, beginning of year four, beginning of year five. It's still five two thousand is that everything has been shifted back. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of this because this is not what we're talking about here. All right, so now this is what's happening. The question is how much will you have by the end of five years? And again, from a conceptual standpoint, if you if you look at this, basically what you're saying is how much is this two thousand dollars going to be worth five years from now? How much is this going to be worth five years from now, this five years from now, so on and so forth. And so basically this involves separately calculating the future value of all of these amounts. So this $2,000 is going to grow five years, this $2,000 is going to grow four years, three years, two years, and then one year. Okay, so now how can you f calculate the future value of this annuity using, using uh, Excel? The long way of going about it is that you go back to your lectures, you say, ah, I remember that the future value of an annuity due formula looks like this. And so do you try to use this over here, which is a long way of doing it, but you could do it. So basically the way you would go about it is you say, okay, equal to by constant cash flow C is 2000. So that multiplied by, and then uh, I do one plus 0 0.03, I raise that to the power uh, 5, and then from that I'll subtract 1. So all of this bracketed expression right here is basically just all of that. I need to do a couple of things. First, I'll take this whole thing, so even the 2000 with it, I'll take all of that, and what I try to do that is then is then I divide all of this by R, which is uh, right here in this formula. So 0 0.03, but I'm still not done because I then need to take all of this one more time, one more time, and then I need to multiply it by one plus R again. Good Lord, right? Uh, you make one mistake here and you're done and you have to do it all over again, but hopefully we haven't made any mistakes here. So uh, when you implement this formula, this basically tells you that at the end of five years, you'll have about 10,936.82. As you can see in the formula here, this will, this, I mean, this, first of all, it's painful, right? And it'll take you some time. And secondly, so many, uh, so many uh, chances that you can make uh, some mistake over here. So fortunately, there's an easier way of doing it in Excel, which is to use the equal to FV or the equal to the future value function. Here, when you invoke this function in Excel, it asks you, you know, what is the interest rate? Okay, that's easy. That's 3%, so 0 0.03. Uh, or you can enter 3% as well. Please do not just enter 3. That's wrong. You have to enter the rate as a decimal. So 3%, comma, the number of time periods. Well, there are five time periods in the sense that there are five deposits that you're going to make. So this is 5. And then the uh, Excel asks you, what is the payment that you're making? And here you're making a payment, a constant payment. So this payment is a constant payment, uh, and this is negative 2,000. And I'm writing it as a negative because this is sort of a payment, because this is a cash outflow that is happening. Uh, 
remember that you can only use this payment function if and only if you're making a constant payment, right? So this has to be a constant number, which it is in this case. So payment is 2000. There is nothing that you need to enter for present value because this 2000 and this five takes into account all the payments, the five 2000. So there's nothing else that's happening. So ignore this. So go past this. Now here is the important part. At the end, Excel asks, asks you, are these payments occurring at the end of the period? or at the beginning of the period and we know that because this is an annuity due all these payments are happening at the beginning of each period the beginning of year one beginning of year two beginning of year three beginning of year four beginning of year five and so this is very very important you need to go here and basically tell excel it's the, the beginning of each time period if you forget to do this excel by default treats every annuity as an ordinary annuity so you'll get the wrong answer so make sure that if you're dealing with an annuity due do not forget to type one for type okay close the bracket and bada beam bada boom you get 10936.82 which is exactly the answer that you would have gotten using the formula as well of course as you can see Excel is far more straightforward if you're implementing it right and easier to do. And so this is how you can determine the future value of any annuity due in Excel.